Welcome to Central Valley Talk. I'm your host, George Miller, and we have our guest with us tonight. We have Christy Majors from Keller Willer, excuse me, Keller Williams, and she's going to be sharing uh, the market trends in real estate and any changes that she's seen take place. There, um, thanks for coming on first. Thank you for Hi. having us. Thank you. And um, I noticed that the market is, is taking a change right now, correct? Mm -hmm. Could it you is. share with the audience the direction you see the market going? Well, we've had a steady increase for the last three to four years. And so all we're doing right now is stabilizing. So it's not crashing. Everyone hears it's all crashing. It's not. It's just stabilizing because you can't go up much further from what the crash was. So what we're looking at is it's been a seller's market for quite a while, and now we're moving into a buyer's market. So that's the trend that's going on right now. So if someone's looking to buy a house, even though it's the holidays, this is a good time to, to get out there. And, and It is. The rates are at least stable. They're in the five. Some of them, if you have a really good credit and really good debt to income ratio, you can get down in the fours. Um, but really, honestly, if the price is right, the condition is right, the location is right, well, you've got two days on the market and you have multiple offers. And, so. and five is a, is a very low rate because I'm giving away my age, but I remember in the late 70s, or early 80s, when, when interest rates were 15, 20%. Yeah. Yeah. But anyone that's been buying in the last, let's say 10 years, they know that it's gone down to three. Yes. So they think five is high. But you go over 30 years, we're all gonna go up to what next year's six and seven and eight. You know, no one has a crystal ball, but it's not going back down. Yes, yeah, so this is, this is still a great time to buy. And, and the prices are, are still extremely reasonable right now. They are, but they're still always gonna be, no matter what you write, there's going to be an appraiser and the appraiser is going to be doing what the market is telling them to do. And so the banks are only going to accept appraisers that are licensed and they're going to say, now don't go inflate this anymore. Let's st let's keep this stabilized. And so even let's say you write a $300,000 offer. If the appraisal comes down at 295, the sellers know I'd rather take 295 than be on the market for another 30 days. Yes. And, and we, we've talked about that before. What are, what are the key things, that, that a seller needs to know if, if, if they want to sell their house in a reasonable amount of time? So the very first thing is that when you're meeting with an agent, the agent should be able to tell you what to um, look out for. So whether if you see a lot of dry rot on your fascia boards, maybe as a seller you take care of that before you list. Um, then you don't have a, a major repair request that comes in. Mm -hmm. So condition is a very big thing because if people are coming in with their down payment and their closing costs, they don't sometimes don't have enough money to do all the repairs. So if a seller can get ahead of that in the beginning and do the repairs that deferred maintenance that everyone has, whether you have a cracked tile, a leaky sink, a leaky faucet, what, you know, sorry, a leaky um, hose bib outside, mm -hmm. all of that will get called out by buyers because they want something that's move-in ready. So then that's the condition. The location you can never change because your house is where it's at, yes. right? But then the pricing. So if your neighbor sold for X and they're completely remodeled, you can't think you're going to be at that price point. So listening to a licensed agent say, this is what the comparables are. This is what your house looks like let's get this on the market at this price because if you're going to go higher than that you will stay on the market for longer and, and those are some great points because that first impression or curb appeal mm -hmm. it, it makes a big difference big difference and then one of the services that, that you offer that's really special is, is you have a team right that Correct. collaborates Correct. can you share a little bit about when they list with you how a team is going to be more effective than just having one person so what we do is here's a lovely little picture of us on last Saturday over at Railroad Park um, we've got f uh, seven agents and two assistants that are running everything and what happens is let's say you're taking a we're taking a listing we know what the house is and what we're gonna price it at usually a couple days before it's gonna go live so we're gonna send it out to all of our buyers we have over 5,000 buyers in our database and we're going to go send it out to see if it hits anybody we're going to run an open house first weekend out on the out of the gate we're going to run an open house saturday sunday daniel bambi steve any one of the team is going to be there then what happens is that they've got writers on the sign so in the, all the phone calls are going to come in mm -hmm. so there's going to be a very good chance that because you're not just using one agent that you're going to get a multiple of people to either show you the house 
whether it's six o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock at night, one of us will be available. So As there's a, there's no hiccups or delays. If they need something nothing. done, you have someone on your team that's accessible. Yeah. And then yeah. you provide a unique service, right, Daniel? Yeah, so I'm the lead buyer specialist for team majors. Um, so what I do is kind of coordinate with other buyers and, and see you know, exactly what they're looking for. A lot of the times when we have new listings, what we'll do is we'll just try to advertise to those buyers who are specifically looking for those needs. You know, If it's a specific area, if it's the bedrooms or the price range that they're looking at, we tend to market towards our you know, listings, make mm -hmm. it easy for both the sellers and buyers mm -hmm. make a smooth transaction. And, and as you guys were saying right now, it's it's currently a buyer's market. It's turning into it's it. turning yeah. into it's it. It's turning, so yeah. it's heading that direction. Oh yeah. But even with that, there's going to still be a lot of competition, so they need to get out there and. Well, there's just not enough inventory. So in a buyer's market, that's because there's not enough inventory, right? So then you have five buyers to one house. So if you're not writing a strong enough offer, if you don't have a buyer's agent that's going to fight to tell you exactly what it, you need to do, I mean, I understand everyone wants a deal. Mm -hmm. We all understand that, except you're up against four other buyers. You've got to make yourself better than all of them or you won't get a chance to win it. And that's what they're trained to do is let's write the offer the correct way. Yeah. Let's write it on day one. Let's get it in and you know pay attention to what the market is and don't overbuy. But again, still, if you read an over list price offer, you've got an appraiser that's going to bring it back down. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so that's where having a team is a benefit, too, because you got a lot of people that are going to be collaborating together and, and you're going to exactly. bring in that yeah. that price point that they need to be at. Yeah. And, and if you do that right, a lot of times you can eliminate a bidding war because you put that that price in initially right. and, and then you're going to you're going to be the one with the most potential to be the buyer. Is that correct? Correct. Absolutely. And the thing is you have to listen because sometimes say, well, my friend told me to do this. Okay, was well, your friend a licensed real estate agent? <laughs> because we are. And it's like if we do have a heart attack, would you call it the dentist? No. no. So I think that because people don't actually write us a check, they tend to not think we're the expert in it. But with 10 years in the business and all of the, we've sold 110 homes this year alone. Wow. Going for 125. <laughs> We're headed for 125 by the time these pending ones close by the first. So that's, that's a big deal of experience. And the fact that all of these agents are doing all of this business, they know where the hiccups are going to be. Mm -hmm. They know what the repair request is going to get turned into. They know how to maneuver around with a, a problem with the appraisal. And so just being with an experienced team is just in everyone's best interest. And you brought up a real good point because I've been in business for a long time. And when you buy a house, it, sh it should be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. and, and some of you guys out there yeah. know it hasn't always been an enjoyable experience because if you get someone that's ill-prepared and you do run into hiccups, you know, a lot of times the euphoria and the enjoyment, you know, it, 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 it dwindles wanes. down. Yeah. 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 And so when you have a team there of professionals that are ready to, to make sure that everything runs smoothly that from helps. beginning to end, it is an enjoyable experience. Yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, is that every, we do every single range. So we have listings down in Visalia. That's an $18,000 $18, mobile home. Okay. Okay. Two bedrooms, two bath. Here it is. And it's about 1,100 square feet. That's $18,000, right? Wow. But we can go all the way up to Avenue, um, sorry, Avenue 40, excuse me, F Highway 41. Okay. You've got acres upon acres. You've got a house that was that turned in from a barn into a house. Mm -hmm. You have a shop, a commercial building. You have three C trains. You have a mobile home on there. All that can be a rental property and a business along with a house. And that's only $300,000. And it could generate revenue for And you. it's generating yeah. revenue while you're living there. Um, we've got, there's the barn. And then you also have over in Clovis on Temperance and Herndon. That's a nice area. Yeah, yeah, you've got a three car garage, a replastered pool, spa, four bedrooms, three bath, one bedroom is downstairs, new granite in the kitchen and the master, hardwood floors throughout the whole bottom, and it's listed at 365. And it is walking distance to an elementary school. 
that's actually a great price. And what a lot of people are taking for granted is actually when this when this train comes in, the high speed rail, mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of this real estate is going to go up in value mm -hmm. because it is. now people can commute. Yeah. Absolutely. They used to stop in Los Banos, and mm -hmm. they'd live in Los Banos and then try to commute. They're all going to come here. Yes. I, I, there was that like, I was going to say, there's actually a recent article in Forbes that said um, that the average person making $60,000 uh, $60, a year that were the most affordable place to live is in Fresno. We're top 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in, in Fresno. I'm working yeah. with some projects with the city, and, and I like the direction it's going. And, and this is a great time, like you said, to... to to buy a piece of real estate and, and own it in this area because yeah. it's only going to go up. Well, that and if you're paying rent, the landlord's getting that, right? That benefit. If you own a home, you get the write-off of the interest. You get to paint your walls whatever <laughs> you want. You Which get to do. Huge. You yeah. get to put whatever in the front yard and the backyard. No one gets to tell you what to do. And no one gets to change the locks on you or tell you, hey, you have 30 days and I'm going to sell the property, so you have to move out. Home ownership allows you to have the power and you to have the control. And that's what we're really trying to strive for is that no matter what the price point is, you can call someplace home, you can call someplace your own, and we're just trying to make those dreams come true. That's a great point. Think of it like that. You're, you're always making an investment, but are you making an investment for yourself or, or for somebody, somebody else? else? Yeah. Exactly. Good points. Good points. Um, before we cut to a commercial, is there some last points that you would like to share with our audience? Um, the only thing is our website. We have it on the screen. It's teammajors.com. You can go sign up there. You can set up your own search so you know that you want in this neighborhood or this price point. It will tell you on day one this house is for sale as opposed to you going on other websites and searching for something it allows it to send it directly to your email you oh, can do that's that convenient. Mm -hmm. the other thing you can do is reach any of our vendors our lenders our home inspectors our pest guys our roofer our pool guys everybody is on our website and then lastly would be you can get our drip campaign so our when we had this santa event last mm -hmm. saturday every single one of the clients in there. Some of them were sellers, buyers, or just friends, friends and family. But when you're in there, then you got the invite to the Santa. Oh, so we nice. had um, 85 people, 85 families come and take free pictures with Santa. They, they brought their fur babies, there were little fur babies, there were tall fur babies, they, they brought everybody, their family, their grandparents that were in a walker that they couldn't get to the mall. Mm -hmm. They did everything just on the corner of Peach and Shepherd. That's a Sorry, great Peach and Alluvial. And then Easter is April 6th is our free Easter pictures. Okay. So the Easter Bunny will be out there. Again, Peach and Alluvial. So it's just about the events, and that's why being on the website allows you to get information from us. Or if or just financial advice, we put we put a newsletter out, or our lender puts something out. At least you're gonna be notified. That's really nice. So Along with being in business, you're um, giving back to the community at the same time. That, mm -hmm. That's great. Well, they've given to us. We haven't built the team majors un by ourselves. Yeah. It has been th hundreds and hundreds of clients every year that has used us to help them buy a home or sell their home, and we're just trying to give back as little as we can. But to sell this many homes, you're getting a lot of positive word of mouth. Well, we hope so. If, we're do, if you're doing the right thing, if you're if you know that we're trying to get you a good deal, it's not always going to be a home run. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be fifty thousand dollars equity you're going to walk into. Mm -hmm. But did you find the right home with the right location, the right condition at the right price? Did you have a good experience? Then you can say thank you, Daniel, or mm -hmm. thank you, Christy, for making this dream come true. And then we want to be there for your friends and family. Good stuff. Um, anybody out there has any real estate needs, get a hold of Christy. We have to cut to a commercial and we'll be right back. Thank you.
centralvalleytalk.com.